Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using the Mayel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. So I decided to use this because I really want to pre-poo my hair. Prior to me um, shampooing my hair this week, I am deciding to shampoo because um, about a week and a half ago is when I last did my hair, like the full wash day. So the last wash day I did, I used um, the Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox by Sultangle. So today I'm going to be using this and I will be leaving it in overnight. So I'll be showing you guys what it looks like before um, I rinse it out and after. So the directions say... Our Hawaiian Ginger Overnight Conditioner is the perfect solution for additional moisture and hydration your hair desperately needs. Not only are you restoring your hair while sleeping, but you are giving your hair a jump start for the next day. This conditioner is great for protecting hair from split ends and leaves the hair feeling soft and silky. Infused with ginger and avocado to detangle, restore moisture, and to bring life back to dry, thirsty curls. So the directions are to apply to hair, work from ends to root, allow conditioner to stay in your hair overnight, apply shower cap for additional protection, and rinse conditioner in the morning prior to shampooing. So that's actually what I'm going to do. Today is Thursday. I usually do my wash days um, Friday into Saturday or um, Saturday into Sunday, somewhere along the weekend. But since I'm home working as a teacher now, I'm going to be using this. And I will be leaving it overnight. Um, I just wanted to show you guys also the consistency, so I'm gonna get a little closer to you. This is the consistency. And this is um, prior to me putting in the hot water bath, which I am gonna do, because I just think since it's so thick, it'll soak into my strands better if I put in a hot water bath. See, so that's the consistency. It's very creamy. It's very creamy and my hair is in old twists and I braided the twists when I moisturized my hair midweek so I'm gonna be taking these twists down and letting this soak in a hot water bath for a few minutes just to get the consistency to where I need it to penetrate into my hair and I'll be back to show you guys how this works in my hair so I have obviously taken out my twists my hair feels really good and moisturized. Um, the last product I've used on my hair this week was the Natural Curl Defining Cream. And this stuff, once again, does so good with keeping your hair moisturized throughout the week. My hair feels really good. It's always taking it down. So now I'm going to be using my pre poo It's sitting in a hot water bath, as you guys can see. And the pre poo is literally right here. So I'm going to keep it in this hot water bath while I apply the um, pre-poo to my hair. It feels nice, warm, ready for me to apply. So I'm going to start towards the ends. This pre-poo smells very tropical if you guys want to know about the scent. And after you warm it up, it does feel really good. Using quite a bit of product just to make sure my hair is moisturized. It's 
really good. This is really creamy.
Alright guys, so I'm done using the Myel Organics Moisture RX Overnight Deep Conditioner. Um, yeah, I really like this Overnight Deep Conditioner. I, um, it had a good amount of slip, especially when you added enough product. It definitely did get really good. Um, I'm definitely using this as like a pre-poo not as like a deep conditioner so I just want to reiterate that um because it says clearly to allow conditioner to stay in your hair overnight apply shower cap for added protection and rinse conditioner in the morning prior to shampooing so yes in the morning I'm going to rinse this out prior to me shampooing but yeah for low porosity hair if it's really hard for products to just penetrate into your hair you can spray water I did not do that, I just worked on dry hair, but even if you warm it up like I did, it would just help it penetrate so much better into your strands. I really like this. I'm definitely going to start using this up because I have about like two containers left of this um, for backups, but I really enjoy Hey guys, so this is the next day after I have washed, deep conditioned, and styled my hair. Well, I haven't really styled it. I only have leave-in in my hair, but I'm going to go through the breakdown of the products that I used this wash day. So, to pre-poo my hair, as you guys saw me do, I used the Mayel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. This conditioner is like a pre-poo because you leave it in your hair overnight and then you style the following day by rinsing it out and shampooing, conditioning, and then style. Now this consistency is very thick. It's thick but it's movable. It has a very potent tropical scent. So if you guys are not into like heavy perfumes in your hair products, especially like marinating your hair for a certain amount of time, I probably wouldn't suggest this to you because for it to work, you need to use it for a certain amount of time and that's why they instruct you in the directions to use it overnight. But otherwise, I think it's really good. The only downfall I have is the scent because it de it's a lot. It's an, um, just after a certain amount of time, it's a lot. But um, it worked very good. When I rinsed out my hair, it felt very silky. And it felt very easy to rinse out. Like, I did feel like all the product rinsed out really good. And it was really creamy, so I was able to run it through my hair once I put it in the hot water bath. It was good to detangle and set my hair up for a wash day. So I really like this. Would I repurchase it again? I think for a rainy day, I may get like one. But I'm looking for other <laughs> pre-poos that don't have such a strong scent. Like I'm not playing. This is really strong. And usually I do, I'm not one to really complain about scents. Because I know each brand has their own thing going on with scents and everything. But... Like, if it gets to the point I'm ready to rinse out my hair, I feel like that's a whole nother level of tolerancy for me. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll get this again, but it is a good product. If scents are not a big thing for you, you should try it. So, the next thing I did, obviously, um, I left this pre-poo slash conditioner. <laughs> I left this in my hair all day and night. So, the following day around lunchtime... I rinsed this out my hair and I shampooed my hair with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yoga Hydrate Repair Shampoo. You guys have probably seen the shampoo in the stores and I absolutely love it. I've been really just trying to use up my stash so that's why I chose these um, products to use on this wash day. I'm about, I'm down to here on the shampoo now. This is a really good shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos. And um, as time goes on, I'll definitely share with you all as a whole what my favorite um, products are. But I love this shampoo. Upon rinsing this out, applying this was a dream. Like, it made my hair feel so silky, and yet it cleaned it. It clumped my curls. It felt so creamy, so buttery, rich. It just, it felt like all of that and more. It gave my hair so much slip. I could detangle. My shed hairs were literally falling out. Um, it just, it felt so good. It elongated my hair enough for me to detangle. It, it just felt so good. I would definitely repurchase this shampoo.
that's hands down. So after using the shampoo, you guys know I immediately go in with my deep conditioner. And this deep conditioner is by Soul Tangles. It's the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. This is the liter size of this deep conditioner. That's how much I love this deep conditioner. I bought it in the liter size. They do not have it on the website at the moment, but if you go to soultangles.com in the future, you can um, order it, I'm sure. And if you sign up for the subscription list, they'll inform you of when their liter sizes are back in stock. But I used this. I poured um, some of this. I just squeezed some out into a small container and I put the small container to a larger container into a hot water bath like I usually do and so when I'm done shampooing I immediately get out the shower section my hair and then I apply the warmed up deep conditioner my hair it loves it so much and I gotta start filming when I deep condition my hair loves it so much it really melts into my hair if you are looking to maximize your deep conditioner I'm telling you, try the hot water bath. Try heating up your deep conditioners into a hot water bath or your hot oil treatments. Try doing every part of your routine into a flow. Build it into a flow and warm up your products if you have um, low porosity hair. It'll just maximize your routine so much more. But I love this deep conditioner. It has so much slip. And that's the common ground that you guys, I hope you're um, just hearing every part of my routine I'm using products that give me so much slip so my hair does not have any downtime to tangle on its other because my hair is just so thick and it's curly and it's going to want to curl on each other when it has the chance and that's why I have products that always give me slip so through every step of my wash day I'm detangling and keeping it in check to style so each one of these products I've used during this wash, they have did a beautiful job of setting me up for the next step. And this deep conditioner is no exception. Like it has so much slip. It has a beautiful scent. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a berry scent. And it's not as potent as the pre-poo, the conditioner that I showed you. But it has a good consistency. If you've never seen this deep conditioner, this is what the consistency looks like. It's pretty thick. I love it. It's movable. But when you heat this baby up, it is so good. It's already good alone. I've tried it alone and it's really good. But when you warm it up, as with any deep conditioner, I feel like it just, it maximizes. I, if you have low porosity hair, I'm just urging you to try that. But this deep conditioner really did set me up for success to style. So I let this deep conditioner sit in my hair for five hours and when I rinsed it out, I make sure my hair is still dripping wet with the warm water. I rinse my hair always with warm water. I don't close my cuticle with cold water. I need my cuticles to stay open since I have a low porosity hair. And then I, while my cuticles are still open, I applied the Soul Tangles Mango Dip Detangling Slip Leave-In. This is the one of the few 8-ounce leave-ins that I have from Sultanicals. I don't usually get the 8-ounce products because they're around $16 each. And I will fly through them because Sultanicals is just that good. But um, you don't need a lot of this. And that's what I love about this product. This little baby showed me. You really just don't need a lot. You only need like a quarter size. And that's a lot for me to digest, even to this day, how I just use a small portion of this and it gets the job done. That's why I love it. It's potent. It gets the job done. And for once, I'll definitely say if your hair is dripping wet, it moves and it works with you to detangle your hair after deep conditioning. So all these products worked in a beautiful flow for me. All of them. From the pre-poo to the shampoo to deep conditioning to the leave-in. And you guys can see how I have a rhythm at this point. I've been natural going on six years. I think it's six years now. And I'm probably going, going on seven years. But I'll put, I'll confirm it in the description box below. But each one of the products I use in my routine, they help set me up for the next stage. And that's what it's all about. When I 
That's why I keep my cuticles open after I rinse out the deep conditioner. I don't seal my hair with cold water because I need it to stay open to um, just drink up the leave-in. And once the leave-in's applied and I'm still in the shower, once you leave um, the bathroom, obviously, you'll be exposed to the cold air and that um, closes your cuticles. So I don't close it with cold water. I just let my cuticles naturally close with the air that it's exposed to when I leave the bathroom. I hope all that makes sense. But um yeah, every one of these products did its job. I love this um detangling slip because like I said you really don't need a lot for it to work. If your hair is completely drenched with warm water, it works so well with you. You don't need a lot. It's a very faint mango scent. I, I could rock with this scent overnight. But um, I'm trying to show you guys the consistency if it comes down. It is pretty thick. It's potent. You really don't need a lot. Um, I'm trying to see if it's going to come down. Okay. So that's the texture. And yeah, it just it works really good on my hair and I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> I'll put on my edges or something. But yeah, this is the only product that's in my hair currently. Because this is the only thing I've used right after washing my hair. So this is the following day, and I still have these twists in. And I just feel like my hair is so, so ready to get um, styled with the styler. And I'll show you guys how I style my hair for this week, but... Yeah, if you guys haven't tried these products, try them. There are really good products on the market that don't have very bad ingredients. I mean, none of these products have bad ingredients. I've always been very conscious about my ingredients. But if you follow the Curly Girl Method, all these products that I'm exposing you to suit that method, too. They don't have any sulfate, silicones, parabens. You're good. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my wash day. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and be sure to share this video with everyone you know. Talk to you soon. Bye.